And we're live. I've never done this before on Instagram. Um, okay, so I should tell people I'm doing this. Going live. Here we are. Swam. All right, you guys are popping my Instagram live, Cherry. Uh, I am waiting backstage here uh, in Seattle, Washington, with Queen. Uh, we're about to do our sound check. And uh, I'm kind of bored on this couch, so I was like, I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> oh, it says, say hi to Brazil. Hi, Brazil. I want to come back. I love Brazil. Red. Yes, it's red. It's fading. I got to redo it. I do it myself because I like to do things myself because I'm a grown-ass man. Um, but it's kind of like orangey-pink now, which is not a good combination, so I got to redo it. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Malta. Cool. Belfast. Yes, I cannot wait until the autumn winter when I get to come with Queen over to that side of the world. That'll be really fun. What do you want from me? Well, I want to just chit-chat with y'all live. <laughs> I, You know, I see all the highs. Do you guys have any questions? Um, we can talk about stuff. Anything? Hi, Jorge. <laughs> yes, I want to come to Brazil. That would be great. Any questions, my friends? Anything? Want to know anything? How can you be bored? Concerts are interesting. Well, the concert's not for a few hours still, so I'm just kind of waiting. There's a lot of waiting involved in being on tour. Why did I choose red? Um, I don't know. It just felt very queen to me. No, I love everybody on this tour. There's no pet peeves. There's no problems. We get along great, actually. Uh, yes, Minneapolis. That's just coming up right around the corner. That'll be fun. Did I enjoy myself on Kimmel? Yeah, it was fun. It was good. It's always good to be on that show. Favorite concert outfit. Oof, that's hard. You know, I have to tell you guys, um, I... I, I kind of styled myself on this tour. Um... <laughs> You know, I, I, if I wanted to, I could have gone to a stylist and we could have done this whole big thing. But I, I love shopping so much. I actually have a kind of an addiction to it. So um, I just kind of went through my closet and saw some stuff that I thought would look good on stage. I'm so not fancy that way. Do you speak Portuguese? Nope. I do not speak Portuguese. <laughs> Red is for sun. Okay. What are you wearing for Ireland? You think I have that planned? Do you think I know that yet? Really? Which, uh, oh, what, nail colors. This is a silver nail thing going on. I put some glitter on top of it, too. <laughs> what do Queen think about your hair? What was their impression? Well, I came to rehearsal the day that I did it, and they were like, Okay! <laughs> It's kind of one of those hair colors that's not really practical for, like, real life. It's really good on stage, I think, anyway. Pharaoh, Pharaoh's so good. I miss him. I was going to bring him on tour, and then I realized that was kind of cruel to do to a dog. It's too much plane rides for him and being in new environments over and over again. I just thought he might get a little bit stressed. So for the good of him, um, he's actually staying with my dad down in San Diego, who loves dogs. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the Hollywood Bowl was so much fun. I had a blast. Can I speak a little French? No. I am, I'm really bad with languages, you guys. I am not proud of that. Can you be my husband? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> favorite color? I don't really have a favorite color. I mean, I love wearing black because I just think it's classic and kind of chic. I'm obviously in a red moment right now. Um... But I'm not, I'm not even good with favorites, actually. My mind changes too much. Hi, Brazil. Finish? A uh, little bit. A little bit of finish, but I'm not that good at it. Are you familiar with Steve Perry singing? Yes, I like Steve Perry. He's amazing. Brazil. Brazil. Oh, Tori Kelly's dope. She's such a good singer and very sweet. 
Yes, Argentina. Questions, uh, guys. Ask questions. I see you. <laughs> Simon, shut up. <laughs> I did. I just saw Wonder Woman last night, actually, uh, in the movie theater, and it was really good. I liked it. I liked the theme. I liked the idea of it a lot. And the guy that was playing the... Um, the hero, what Chris Pine? God, he's God, he's so pretty. Do you twerk much? Nope, can't say I do. Yeah, Couldn't afford backstage. Oh, we don't do any backstage stuff for the Queen tour, so you didn't miss anything. It wasn't even an option. I hope Pharaoh misses me. I miss him like crazy. Oh. Mm. Two fucks. Let's talk about it, guys. I want to know. What do you guys think? Um, I have to say I'm so excited that it's out. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the song, um, how it came about. Sarah Hudson, Faross, um, had come up with this idea, and they were like, we got to show you. Um, I fell in love with it immediately. We got the tour in the studio, and we further developed it, and... I don't know, it just immediately struck me as the kind of song that it made me smile, it made me laugh, and it was like, the minute I heard the chorus idea, I was like, uh, yeah, that's sort of what I always want to be able to express, and it was just done in such a kind of a cute way, and I, I love the song because it sort of reminds me of sort of glam rock a bit, it's that light sort of poppy um, kind of 70s centric thing. Uh, and yet it's still modern. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm glad you guys like it. Thanks for the support. Um, you know, it's interesting. I was having this conversation with um, my brother about music and commercial success and how pop music can be such a, a business where it's all about, you know, how many streams does it have? How many copies did you sell? How, what's the chart position? And all of that is great because it, it's the measure of something that somebody likes. But I, I, I vow to myself on this next chapter to sort of not be as obsessed with all that because that's not really what music is about. That's what the business side of it is about. And and I always love seeing all your comments, you guys, saying like, oh, you know, this needs you know more recognition. It needs to be number one. And, and I love that it, from you guys but that's not the point of a song the point of the song is how does it make you feel how does it how does it you know do you want to move to it does it make you hum along does it get stuck in your head does it make you feel strong does it make you feel happy does it make you feel whatever emotion you're going through it's not about how many streams it has why don't you let me worry about that <laughs> I just do it now. It's more important, more than ever, for me to just make music for the reason of giving you guys something to, to listen to, to inspire you or to, or to relieve you or to help you escape or whatever the heck the song's purpose is. Um, it's just not important for me to get too hung up on sales. It, that's not... I let the record label worry about that. <laughs> anyway. That's, that's my piece, and I said it. Um, oh, the namaste joke in, in Two Fucks is just a stupid joke. It's like, um, nah, I'm going to stay right here. It's namaste. It's, it's like a play on words, guys. To have this song on radio. Well, look, you know, um, I'm sure there will be a censored version that we have worked on for radio if it comes to that. Um, but again, it's... You know, you guys all have access to the song. It's for you, you know? Uh, what else? What else, guys? What else do I know? We have 2,000 people watching. Hello. I don't even put on any uh, concealer. I probably look like a busted piece of crap. <laughs> Would I ever do a collab with Demi Lovato? I love Demi Lovato. She's a great singer. Cool girl. Um, Egypt, dude. I, you know, I'm like obsessed with ancient Egypt. So I've always, it's on my list to go see the pyramids someday. I'll make it someday. Oh, I love London. I love London. Yay, Mexico. You. 
home of my favorite spirit, tequila. Where did I get my bracelet? I don't know where these came from, actually. I'm not sure. I've had these for a while. Little spikes. Next song. I don't have an exact date yet, but I do have more music. Uh, it is getting finished up and it's ready to be heard soon. So hang tight. Be patient. Enjoy the song that just came out, guys. You're so, so thirsty. <laughs> um, sing a little, please. Uh, what do you want me to sing? How about... If you think that what I do and how I live's too much, I don't really, really give two fucks. <laughs> If you think that what I say and what I give ain't love, I don't really, really give two fucks. Yeah. Oh, you came from San Diego to see the Hollywood Bowl show. That is awesome. Thank you very much. That was fun. I had a lot of friends and family there, which was cool. Any other questions, my friends? Any other questions? Oh. It is time for me to go, apparently. Uh, I am being called to soundcheck. I'll try to do a little bit of a, an update from soundcheck, okay? Bye, guys. Love you. And if for anybody that's here in Seattle, I will see you on stage. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs> How the hell do you end this thing? <laughs>